Hey, Craig Gordon here with Utah Abbey on Sunday, December 20th. My travels today took me to the south end of the range again, uh, staged at a mill hall. I wanted to check out some of the train I haven't been to this year. I took my own advice. I stuck with low angle terrain, rode around on the sled a little bit, then slapped the skis on. And as I'm coming back to uh, my sled after a quick ski run, I'm in this nice little open meadow. And what do I get? Boom, 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 boom. Nice little subtle collapse was enough to shake the bushes. So I take a look at my snowpack and what have I got here? I've got this little bit of snow from the Thursday night storm that's resting on some of this denser snow, a little bit more body from last Saturday's storm. And then as we get a little bit deeper into the pack here, right? Boom, right there, there's my junk in the trunk. You can just sort of see this peeling out. The problem with this, it's a persistent weakness. We add a little bit of weight to that, boom, there's my, there's my collapse right there. Persistent weaknesses, they don't go away overnight. They take time to heal. Looking at our weather pattern and our snow structure, this is gonna take a minute or two. So we've gotta exercise some patience. If you wanna just go out for a ride, low angle terrain is the ticket. If you wanna step uh, your slope angles up a little bit, swing over to the south half of the compass, mid and low elevation terrain doesn't have this persistent weakness. The problem there is super thin, and of course you could crater into a natural obstacle. In either case, we got your back at Utah Avalanche Center. Conditions might be changing with a midweek storm, and uh, I'll keep you updated. So check out utahavalanchecenter.org. Of course, we'll look forward to seeing you out on the snow.